How do you grow a business in an economy that's shrinking? Here in Liverpool at medical supply firm Algios, they have aspirations for new, bigger premises, but they also have rising energy, transport and wage costs, with a predicted recession on the horizon and now today's fall in GDP. We just feel at the moment that every week there's a new challenge, there's something else that we need to deal with, um, whether it's in terms of sort of energy, sort of the energy costs, it's the, the, the global shortage of raw materials, the increased costs of, of shipping and freight. There just seems to be something else that we're, we're, we're trying to, to manage and trying to get, get on top of at the moment. Now, GDP, or economic activity, probably wasn't on your mind during the big Jubilee celebrations, but the extra money we spent then helped keep today's figure better than some had expected. Much of the shrinkage was because the test and trace system and vaccine programmes recently wound down, something the Chancellor was keen to emphasise on a factory visit this morning. What the numbers show today is uh, the, the contraction is partly because of some of the uh, COVID activities um, actually uh, reducing, but also real resilience in the private sector, uh, which actually uh, in many ways bodes well. But where do we go from here, stuck in a very unusual set of economic elements? We are worried, we have been given all sorts of reasons to worry um, about certainly impending inflation, but also possible impending recession. So there is a general sense that we are in a stagflationary environment where you have a stagnant economy, but rampant inflation at the same time. After the pandemic, businesses hoped for a bounce back, a return to life as normal. But now many find themselves facing a new set of financial pressures, keeping a lid on growth. Peter Lane, 5 News, Liverpool.